Hi, welcome back. This is tip number four for using Sam Broadcaster. And we are looking right now at the use of sound effects, the uh, SFX or the FX within, um, uh, within Sam. So if we go into Sam, I'm sure, kind of, I'm sure if you're watching this, you probably can pretty much know your way around Sam already. But in, in case you don't, uh, this here is uh, a nice kind of window, arguably a little bit small. Um, it'd be nice if you could sort of expand this out so you could have a touchscreen or something like that that plays, you just tap these and uh, you can sort of just punch in sort of various uh, various sound effects into uh, into whatever you're doing, which is a pretty handy, pretty handy thing to have. And uh, they are populated under the content section here on the left hand side and anything within the sound effects category gets added to this automatically. So we'll add some, a couple in there now, we just sort of pick three out. So if I just add this directory, add the sound effects into there. We've just added just a couple of basic news type sounds into there just, just to do this tutorial. And uh, so they've been added to sound effects. Don't forget to hit the refresh button on here because at the moment you'll notice there's nothing there. As soon as you hit refresh, it has the uh, effects there. So we've got this, you know, that type of thing in there. But the main th point of this tutorial or this tip is to avoid the gap killer settings change the gap killer settings on your sound effects because as default it has gap killer enabled and that's good for songs and you probably want to leave the default you can actually set the uh, default here enable gap killer by default and uh, you probably want to leave that like that because it's very very useful for songs but it is useless in my opinion for sound effects and these these give a good example of why i mean take a listen to this it just cuts it dead at the end, or even this one. It, it's useless like that to me. Uh, so if we go into each of these, you can go to settings. So I'm just, yeah, at this point, I'm just right clicking and doing uh, song info. You can, of course, do uh, Alt 3 to get to the same se section. Go to settings and here under gap killer, just change that to disabled and apply. And uh, if you want to do multiples at the same time, then go into here. And then you'll notice they, they're listed on the left there. And click apply there. Move down one. Click apply there. And although that actually looked like I was able to multi uh, do multiple tracks at once, you can't do that. Hold on. So that is disabled because I clicked apply on each of them, but you can't select multiples and it won't apply, even though it did actually look then as if it had applied the gap killer it's disabled setting to both. It doesn't. It's a bug, it's a flaw, it's I don't know what it is. It's just another one of these glitches in in software or in this specific software. But you have to go through each of them manually and just disable them, which is quite a laborious task. But once it's been done, it's done. So, you know, no big, no big deal, really. But really, with sound effects, you're going to want them to fade out because there's going to be something else playing with them or you're going to have something else coming in after them. And uh, there's no reason why you would want to cut them dead or, or have any kind of gap killer on them. Now, I'm not sure if this will do this live. It probably will just prove me wrong uh, and not. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. That's better. And, and I'll play the other one as well. Yeah, see, see what I mean? I mean, it just makes a lot more sense to have that, have that like that, so you can have your sort of bed going in the background or something like that, and then uh, be talking over it, doing whatever you're doing, your, you, you know, your, your news and things like that, and then get to the end of it. And have a nice fade out on on the FX because the, there's going to be another track coming into it, isn't there? I mean, you know, I'll just get that. So I'm just playing around now, just because I like to. <laughs> Let's just add a. Uh, oh god, I got far too much, <laughs> far too much aha, in there. Um. 
<laughs> I have no idea what to put in. There's so, there's so much to put in, but uh, I'm not. I don't want to actually put anything in now. All right, let's uh, see how this one starts. Um, how does this go at the start? Yeah, that's that's okay. Again, I think the settings are a bit wrong on here. Did I actually change these or not? No. Remove silence from the beginning of the track. That's way too much. So I'm going way off topic here. Sorry about that. And that's way too much as well. It just cuts off that beginning and gets that horrible sharp. Um. Oh, I was fading as well. Is that did I leave those? See, this is this explains why the reason why I said disable this stuff and and change these settings, which I've gone gone back to the defaults, unfortunately. Uh, because you get sound, you get stuff like that happening. It's nasty. Um, okay, let's try that again. Okay, it's probably not that clean. That's better. Right, okay, so as an example, la -di -da -di -da, talking over your I'm talking over your bed or doing something over this particular bed and then going out. You know, it's not, not a perfect example, but it's kind of what I'm talking about here. Right, so there you go. Simple tip is when you put FX in, disable the gap killer so that they just play out to their full extent and their full glory. There we go, that's tip number four on using Sam Broadcaster.